Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. We've talked a lot about rental cars lately, but it always seems we were talking about Hertz, okay? Donald sent me notes and Steve, check this out. This time it's not Hertz, but it's a strange story involving a rental car. A rental car driver was ticketed for having expired tags, and it resulted in her license suspension. So this is something, I've talked to people before about this, but most people don't stop to think about it. That when you're driving down the road in a car, and the car gets pulled over for any reason, you as the driver of that car are responsible for the fact that it needs to be plated and insured, etc. So if you rent a car, you assume that it's properly plated and properly insured and all of that, but what if it's not? And so this one is from WMAR. Mallory Sofistar wrote this. When renting a car, the woman in this story knew to check for scratches and dents and so on, but she didn't think she'd need to check the expiration dates on the license plate. So everyone's always worried about, well, if I pick the car up, it's got damage or return it. They might say, oh, that damage was caused by you. So you do a quick walk around of the car before you pick it up. But do you check the tags to see if they're expired? So the woman says it was back in November of last year. She rented a car from Enterprise and uh, went to pick up her cousin in West Virginia. While driving through Frederick, a police officer pulled her over. Cop informed me that the tags in the car were expired, and I let him know it was a rental. I have no idea. I'm sorry it was a rental. And he said, well, he still has to give me a ticket because I'm the one driving the vehicle. So it spins out of control at this point. So the next morning, she called Enterprise and spoke with the manager, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. Drop the keys and the ticket in the drop box together when you leave the car. We'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. So I did exactly that and figured they're a business. They'll take care of it. (laughs) Now, there is a strange set of ideas to place together. They're a business. They'll take care of it. Um, I'm not sure why you'd think that. But she says they're not going to, you know, ignore this. So I went about my business. And a couple months later, I got something in the mail saying my license is going to be suspended if this ticket doesn't get paid. I'm like, the only ticket I've gotten is that rental. What are they talking about? She then called Enterprise Corporate Headquarters, and they apologized and told her it would be taken care of. A couple months later, I got pulled over driving from one store to another, and the cop told me my license was suspended. So things have escalated, as we say. Now, this was in March of this past year, and that was months after she rented the car and had reported the ticket to Enterprise. And if she had followed her instructions, she dropped the ticket off with them and said, here's the ticket I got. So then she says, I apparently got a court date that I didn't get in the mail, so I'd missed that, and got a failure to appear and got a warrant. Now, I know something going to say, Steve, come on, you get notices. Well, remember that when they wrote this ticket up, uh, it was for a car that was not hers. Presumably, if she gave them her driver's license, they would have gotten her correct information, But it's possible that plays into it somehow. I'm just trying to think outside the box here. Meanwhile, the series of events puts the woman in legal jeopardy. So she had to hire an attorney. She says the attorney cost her about $1,500. But there were fees and court costs. And she thinks she's out about $3,000. Meanwhile, she still does not have a driver's license. She hasn't gotten that part straightened out. While I was working, my boss was picking me up every day and dropping me off so I could get to and from work. I was having people help me out the rides back and forth, stuff like that. She called Enterprise many times and had several email exchanges in March without resolution. WMAR, Channel 2, uh, contacted Enterprise in November. And they said, we are working aggressively to investigate and resolve this issue. And we apologize to the customer for the hardship this this has caused. We strive to make every customer experience the best it can be and are working to bring this issue to a satisfactory resolution. You'll notice they have not said a single thing there that makes any sense as to what they're doing, other than they're frantically and aggressively investigating. Um, Well, no, we know what happened. It's pretty simple. So a month later, the spokesperson confirmed they're still working on it. They're trying to resolve the issue. According to the Maryland MVA, the registration for 389 vehicles in the Maryland Enterprise fleet with expirations on or after September 1st, 2021, were renewed after their expiration date. So it would look like 
There may have been as many as 389 cars just in Maryland that Enterprise had in their fleet that were renewed late. Currently, Enterprise has 38,000 active vehicle registrations with the use type as rental. So they've got quite a few of these. It's a question of how many of these you know, things happen. Her rental was registered in Virginia. The tags expired on September 30th, 2021, and she received the ticket on November 19th, 2021. So, you know, all of October had passed, and a couple weeks into November, it also passed. So she said, you know, you check for dings and dents and bumps and scratches. You don't check for dead tags or plates. <laughs> it's a hard lesson. It's something Bell wants to warn other renters about. She has a court date, meanwhile, in January, where she's hoping she can finally clear her record and move past this. The Maryland MVA encourages all consumers to review their rental contract and to check the vehicle's tags before leaving the rental lot. I got another one for you. Is the car insured? Because most states say if you're in a vehicle behind the wheel, uh, you need to have a driver's license. Car's got to be plated and the car's got to be insured. And you assume Enterprise has got insurance. What if they're not? And in some states, expired tags is actually a little bit more than just a civil infraction. It can actually be a misdemeanor. I've heard of that in some states where it's a misdemeanor to be driving on expired plates. Because they look at that and go, it's like driving around with no plates at all. And so it's, you know, something that they take very seriously. And so I'll admit, I have rented cars on many occasions. Not recently, but there's a time where I rented them quite, quite a bit. And I would walk around and looking for the dings and scratches. And I, I'm not sure I would have caught it if a vehicle's tags had expired. I'm not sure if I would have caught that. So I feel for the woman, and it's, it's unfortunate that it went this far. But as you can imagine, if you ever got a ticket, any sort, parking ticket, speeding ticket, civil infraction, whatever it is. You get a ticket, you know that the ticket says right on it, you have an appearance date on or before this date, you must respond to this ticket. You should know what that date is and follow up to make sure that the court thinks that you responded. And so if somebody else says, I'll take care of that, well, get the information on the ticket and make sure it's taken care of because they don't have the same incentive that you do to get this straightened out. And that's the real problem. They're not inspired as much as you are to follow through on this. And so if she had gone to court and said, Your Honor, the tag was expired, but it was a rental. Who checks for that? I can picture a judge going, Oh, okay, that's a problem. And then doing something about, you know, enterprise. But the fact that she didn't show up means the court's going, you know, they're calling the case and, uh, you know, <laughs> Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. You know, th th they just know that she didn't show up. Bad things happen when you don't show up in court. And so I'm sure a default got entered. And based on that default, they probably said, well, didn't respond to the driving on bad tags. We will suspend her license and that'll get her in here real quick because somewhere along the line, Either when you go to renew your license, driver's license, or go into renew anything, you're going to find out that your driver's license has been suspended, and that's something most people will respond to. So I place a tiny little bit of responsibility here on her, because she should have followed up on this and not trusted the business to do the right thing, because she says, well, I figured they're a business. They'll take care of it. <laughs> you said that wrong. They are a rental car business. They won't take care of it, okay? So, crazy story. Um, I'm glad it's not Hertz because I was getting a little tired of beating on Hertz. And um, it's, it's Enterprise. And by the way, Enterprise is the company that I rented cars from the most uh, in the times that I rented cars. And I've never had trouble with them at all. But then again, they've also, as far as I know, never rented me a car with an expired plate. So, there you go. From WMAR Donald sent it. Thanks a lot. Uh, rental car driver ticketed for expired tags and it results in license suspension that she's still trying to get worked out. Unbelievable. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. If love is the answer, could you please rephrase the question?